What's up guys, it is a T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today we're going to be breaking down how Tyler Eulis fits with the Golden State Warriors. So before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So Tyler Eulis has signed an Exhibit 10 contract with the Warriors, and he'll be joining Golden State for training camp. However, it's likely that he'll end up with the Warriors G League affiliate, the Santa Cruz Warriors. So for some quick background, Ulysses is a 5'9 point guard who was the 34th overall pick in the 2016 NBA Draft and he played for the Suns the past two seasons before being waived this past summer. He put up some decent numbers as a rookie where he was a starting point guard at the end of the season and got some big minutes. However, a lot of those numbers were just empty stats as the Suns were just trying to tank. He did up his numbers in his second season, but his efficiency dropped dramatically as he shot only 38.8% from the field overall and 28.8% from three. His defense was also very bad as he simply doesn't have the size to even guard most point guards. This showed up in the advanced stats as he had a 115 defensive rating and a negative 2.4 dbpm. However, he'll get a chance to earn a spot with the Warriors in training camp and he'll have to show a lot of improvements since he'll be going up against a lot of competition for the final roster spot. So if Ulysses does in fact make the team, how would he fit in Golden State? And before we get into it, a huge shout out to Seeky for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets, and using the app you can see which ticket is a good deal which has a green dot, or a bad deal which has a red dot for any sporting event or concert. It's an easy to navigate app and it's a must have for anyone who's interested in attending an event. Use my discount code the wall to get $20 off your first purchase when you first sign up for an account, and I'll leave a link to the site where you can sign up or you can also download the app on your phone as well, and use my code to get the discount there. So if you want to see some Warriors games, be sure to use SeatGeek and use my code to get a discount off your first purchase. So Tyler Ulysses will likely be the third string point guard on the team, behind Steph Curry and Sean Livingston. He will likely see minutes in either garbage time, or when someone gets injured. Given the fact that Curry will likely miss at least 5-10 to 10 games next season due to rest, if Ulysses does make the team, he will likely see some minutes in some games. When Ulysses plays, he's a decent playmaker that could help find his teammates for open shots. I remember in his rookie season with the Suns he had a nice stretch in April, where he averaged 8 assists per game. He was a great pickup for me as I had him in fantasy basketball, and he actually helped me get to second in the assist category. But back to the point, Ulysses is a solid passer and a solid driver to the rim as well. However, given his diminutive size, he struggles to finish when he gets there. Ulysses is also a poor 3 point shooter as he has a shot over 30% from 3 once in his entire career. That's a very troubling sign for an undersized point guard, as if you can't shoot, defenses can just clog up the paint and wait for Ulysses to drive to the basket and then contest a shot or just dare him to shoot where he'll likely miss. Ulysses needs to develop a 3 point shot if he wants to have any chance of becoming a solid and consistent backup point guard in the NBA as this tool is a must have for almost all point guards, let alone undersized ones. On defense, Ulysses is simply just bad. He's very short which makes him struggle in contesting shots as most point guards are just simply bigger and can shoot over him. They can also simply overpower him and push their way to the rim and this will put a ton of pressure on the Warriors interior defense to make the right switch and to protect the rim. Not all is bad for Ulysses on defense though as he does have quick hands and pretty good instincts to get steals in the passing lanes or on strips but besides that, he can't really do much else. In the Warriors switch heavy defensive scheme, it's going to be very hard to hide Ulysses on defense and that doesn't bode well for his play on the court. Overall I think Ulysses may be solid as a third string point guard, but he's not a good fit with the Warriors. He can't shoot, he struggles to finish at the rim, and he's a bad defender as well. It will be hard to see him get a spot with the team next season, but he'll likely get a chance with the G League team. If he does go to the Warriors G League team, he'll actually get a 50k bonus from the contract so that'll be good for him. We'll see what happens and hopefully, he'll play well in training camp. So that's a wrap, thanks guys for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business, or have any video ideas you want me to do. Let me know as I do check back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below on how you think Tyler Ulysses would fit with the Warriors. Let me know as I do read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys here as well. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.